I would wait till it says done connecting. Oh, it's recording. Okay. Bye guys. Enjoy. You ready guys? All right. Ready or not, here we come. Okay, how about we start in a seated position. Rest your hands on your thighs, and then I want you to close your eyes. So as we know, there is a lot of stuff going on right now, but I want you to give yourself permission to just be here. So go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Then sigh out, let go of any resistance, any distractions, and any stress. And with your eyes closed, Bring your attention to the top of your head. And just imagine opening up the top of your head, your crown, to connect with your higher self. Your higher being. And with the light. And allow that light to calm the mind. Come into your body. So with the eyes closed, just feel your hands resting on your thighs. And maybe adjust by sitting up a little taller, draw your chin in. And then on an inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. But as you exhale, draw the shoulders down and draw your heart forward. Just taking these first few moments to let go and just be right here. As you settle in, I'm just gonna read a little inspiration from Abraham Hicks to maybe bring us into the present. So, you do create your own reality. No one else does. And you create your own reality even if you do not understand that you do so. For that reason, you often create by default. When you are consciously aware of your own thoughts and you are deliberately offering them, then you are the deliberate creator of your own reality. And that is what is intended when you made the decision to come forth into this body. So no matter what chaos is going on around us, no matter what circumstances, right now you can start to create your very own reality. Go ahead and take one more deep breath in here with the eyes closed. And then exhale, let that go. Bring your hands to heart center. And then we'll inhale, shoot the hands up, open the eyes if you want, or keep them closed. And as you exhale, release the arms down to the floor, nice and wide. Shoulders pulling down, heart forward. Just drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. On an inhale, bring the head to center. And then exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And bring the head to center. 
Go ahead and drop your chin toward your chest. Shoulders pull down. Heart draws forward. Go ahead and then we'll bring the head up. On an inhale, think about that left arm. Reach the left arm up. And then on your exhale, lower down to the right elbow, right forearm. And just stretch your left arm over your left ear. <clears throat> Press your left hip down. And then breathe into that left side body. So now we're just going to create a little more space in our body. Using our breath. On an inhale, go ahead and come up to center. And then as you exhale, let's come down to that left side, stretch the right arm over the right ear. Now press that right hip down. Breathe into that right side. Relax through the shoulder. And on an inhale, come up to center. And then as you exhale, go ahead and come into your tabletop. So I'm going to be facing, you'll see a side view now. And I'll bring my mat a little closer here. So come into tabletop, just all fours. Maybe I'll move a little further away. Wrists are under your shoulders and spread your fingers wide, knees under hips. Neutral spine, just take an inhale. And as you exhale, draw your belly, draw your heart forward. On an inhale, round into your cat spine. And then as you exhale, lower your hips to your heels. Coming to a child's pose. So knees can be a little wider than the hips and just start to move around here. See how you're feeling through the body. And then go ahead and lower your forehead down. And separate the shoulder blades. Think about creating more space in the back of your body. Lifting your forehead, walk your hands over to the right side of the mat, and then bump your hips over to the left. Breathing again into that left side body. Okay, then walk the hands to center. And then we'll bring the hands over to the left. Bump your hips to the right. Go ahead and walk the hands back to center. There we go. And then inhale, come back up to tabletop. Exhale, draw your belly, draw your heart forward. Inhale, round into your cat spine. And exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. So we're going to move with breath, moving a little quicker. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Exhale, draw your belly, draw your heart forward. Inhale, round into your cat spine. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. One more time, inhale, come up to tabletop. Exhale, drop your belly, draw your heart forward. Inhale, round. And exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Good, we'll come back up to tabletop. I'll face you guys for this little bit. Bump your hips over to your right and look toward the left. And we're just going to shift forward and back, working through the hips. Go 
ahead and inhale to center. And as you exhale, bump your hips over to the left, look to your right, shift forward and back. All right, coming back to center, let's tuck the toes. Fingers spread wide. And then inhale, start to lift the knees off the mat, just about two to three inches. Check in with your shoulders, draw the shoulders down. Good, now go ahead and continue to lift your hips and come into your downward dog with your knees bent. Let your head drop down. And then start to walk it out. On an inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, lift both heels. Exhale, press your right heel down and bend your left knee. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, press your left heel down and bend your right knee. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, press your heels down. Let your head drop. And then we're going to take our gaze toward the hands. Take little steps in, coming into your forward fold. Let's have the feet to touch, bend your knees, and rest your chest and torso on your thighs, and just let the head drop down. So imagine just letting everything go. Breathing, maybe shift forward and back on those feet, see how that feels. Good, it will slowly roll our way. You might have to move. I'm moving up here. Rolling our way up. Take a couple shoulder rolls. On an inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, swan dive down. Come into your fold, knees bent. Place your hands on your shins. Inhale, head up, flat back. Good, exhale and fold. Staying in your forward fold, place the left hand under your face. Sweep that right arm up. Drawing that right hip back. Good, bring the right hand down. And we'll sweep the left arm up. And bring that left hand down. Place your hands on your shins. Inhale, head up, flat back. Good, as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, draw our way up to stand. As you exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Good, inhale, reach up. Swan dive down, come into your fold. Place your hands to your mat and step it back to a high plank. Heels press back, shoulders over wrists, come forward on your toes, and just lower about two to three inches, hug your elbows in. And then come back up to your high plank, and press it back to your down dog, we'll walk out. Okay, let's start on the left side. So we're going to lift the left leg up, keeping the hips square, 
shoulder square. Flex through your left toes. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, shift to your high plank, keeping that left leg lifted. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale to your high plank. One more time, lift. Come to your high plank. Set your left foot down. Lower just a couple inches, elbows hugging. Come back up to high plank. Press back to your down dog. Again, walk it up. Staying on the left side, go ahead and lift your left leg up. This time we're gonna stack the hips. Bend the knee. Press your right heel down and then square your shoulders. So looking toward that right leg. Left shoulder draws toward the wall behind you. Good, inhale, extend the left leg. And then as you exhale, bring the left foot forward, come to your runner's lunge. So that left foot comes between the hands. Extend through that back leg. Place your right hand under your right shoulder and we're gonna reach the left arm up. Go ahead, lower the left hand down. Go ahead and lower the right knee down. Untuck those back toes. As you inhale, draw the hips forward. And as you exhale, draw the hips back, stretching into this left leg, relax your shoulders. And just noticing how you're feeling through the back of that left leg. And go ahead and shift forward. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, come back into your lunge. On an inhale, we're gonna come up to crescent lunge. But as you exhale, just sink into your hips. Scoop your tailbone in. As you inhale, find some length. On your exhale, you're going to come into a twist. Right arm comes forward, left arm back. So working on balance here. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. One more time, inhale. Good, and exhale. Stay in your twist. And just lower that right hand down to the mat under the left, or under the right shoulder, left arm up. Good, release the left hand down, step your left foot back into that high plank. Move forward on the toes, and lower about halfway. Inhale to your high plank. And exhale to your down dog, walk it out. So we've got that left side a little more worn down. Just notice how you're feeling on that side. And I'm gonna switch sides so you guys can see what we're doing. Come into your down dog and lift your right leg up. Keeping that leg lifted. Shoulders square, hips square, take an inhale. And as you exhale, shift to your high plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, high plank. Good. Nice and slow, one more time, inhale. Exhale to your high plank. Lower that right foot down. Come forward on your toes. Lower halfway. Good. Come back up to high plank and press back to your down dog. We'll walk it out. Good. Staying on the right side, lift the right leg up. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Press the left heel down. Good, we're gonna inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, step forward, come to your runner's lunge. 
extending through that back arm. Left hand under left shoulder, go ahead and reach the right arm up. Lower the right hand down. Lower the left knee down. As you inhale, draw your hips forward. And then on your exhale, draw the hips back, stretch into the right leg. Check in with those shoulders, relax the shoulders, and lower down. Good, now shift forward. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. We're going to inhale to press. On your exhale, left arm comes forward, right arm back. Good, inhale. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. And exhale, stay in your twist. Just bring that left hand down, reach the right arm up. Good, lower the right hand down. Right foot steps back, high plank. Good, come forward on your toes. Lowering halfway. Place your knees down. Come to a modified up dog. So knees down, bend the elbows, and then draw the heart forward. Shoulders pull down. Look past your left shoulder. See the right hip down. Fix you guys on this one. So we're just stretching into that right hip. Come back to center. And now look past that right shoulder, left hip down. Go okay, back to center. Press into your tabletop and go ahead and extend your right leg, or sorry, your left leg back. Go ahead and now reach your left arm forward, your thumb points up. Finding that balance. And then open up, coming into a modified side plank. Stretch your left arm over your left ear. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the knee toward the elbow. Good, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more, inhale. Knee to elbow. Extend. Lower the left hand down. We'll extend through that left leg. And then you're going to bend the knee. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, kick that left leg all the way up. Stack your hips and bend your knee. Right heel is pressing down. Shoulders relax. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale to kick. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, kick. Step the left foot forward. Come to that runner's lunge. Good. Right hand under right shoulder. Reach the left arm up. Lower the left hand down. Inhale, come up to crescent. Exhale, twist. Right arm forward. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Right arm forward. One more time, inhale. Good, exhale and twist. Now stay in your twist, bring your hands to heart to center. Take that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press your hands together. Extend through the back leg. Breathing into that midsection, the shoulders. Relax the neck. Good, release the hands down. Step your left foot back, come to high plank. Move forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale to your down dog. Good, go ahead and lift the left leg up, we'll stay on the left side. 
Exhale to your high plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale to your runner's lunge. Inhale, come up to crescent. This time as you exhale, you're gonna lower the knee, cactus nose. Good, inhale, do that two more times. Exhale, lower. One more time. Good, exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Step the right foot forward, coming into your fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. So keeping those knees bent, lower the hips, squeeze your thighs together. And then we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Exhale, come up to stand, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, lower the hips, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back. Runner's lunge. Now walk your hands over to your left. We're going to come into a wide legged fold. Hands under shoulders. Take an inhale, head up, flat back. And exhale, come into that fold. Weight shifts forward in the feet. Head is down. Good. Go ahead and take the gaze between the hands. Bring your hands to your hips. Slight bend in those knees, slowly come up. Arms out, right toes forward. Bend into that right knee coming into warrior two. Back leg is strong, shoulders relax. Good, as you inhale, straighten that front leg, reach up. And as you exhale, Come into that warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Right hand, reverse. Sink into that right side body. Good. Come back to warrior two. Straight that front leg. Point the right toes forward and come back into your fold. Left hand comes under your face. Sweep your right arm up. Good, release the right hand down. And sweep your left arm up. And bring that left hand down. Walk your hands towards your right foot, coming back into your lunge. And we'll step the right foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale, down dog. Let's take three breaths. Just walk it out. Move ahead if that feels good. And let's go ahead and set the knees down to the left. So now we'll come to that right side. Extend the right leg. I will turn in here. Extend that right leg. And now reach your right arm forward, thumb comes up. Finding that balance. Open up toward the right side. Modified side plank, reach your right arm over your right ear, take an inhale. And exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. Good, knee to elbow, extend, bring that right hand down, extending the right leg, you're gonna bend the knee, tuck your left toes, and then inhale, extend that right leg up, stack your hips, bend your knee. Try to square the shoulders, pressing that left heel down. Good, inhale, extend the right leg, Exhale, knee to face. Inhale, kick. Exhale, come to your runner's lunge. So bring that right foot forward, left hand under left shoulder, reach your right arm up.
So I lower the right hand down on an inhale, let's come up to crescent. As you exhale, twist left arm forward. Good, inhale up. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. And exhale, stay here. Hands to heart center, left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Press the hands together, find your twist. Shoulders down. Good, release your hands. Step your left foot forward. Coming into your fold, inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale and fold. Lower the hips, squeeze your thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms up, chair. Exhale, come up to stand. Inhale, lower the hips, chair. Exhale to your fold. Good, inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale and fold, plant your hands, step or jump high point. Move forward on your toes, lower half foot. Inhale, up dog. Good, exhale, down dog. Just walk it out. Go ahead and step the left foot forward. Coming back to that lunge. Inhale, reach up, crescent. Exhale, lower the knee, half to seal. Inhale, up. exhale, lower. Good, one more time, inhale, and exhale. Release the hands. Walk the hands over to your right. We'll come back to that wide-legged fold. Shifting the weight forward, hands to hips. Slight bend in your knees. Slowly come up. Point the left toes forward, come into your warrior two. Shoulders relax. Good, inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Left hand, reverse. Side body stretch. Come back to warrior two. We'll straighten that left leg, point the left toes forward, hands to hips and fold. Place the right hand under your hips, sweep your left arm up. Good, release the left hand down. And then inhale the right arm up. Release both hands down. Walk your hands towards your left foot. Come back to that runner's lunge. Stepping your left foot back. Hold here in your high plank. And then set your knees down. Keeping your hips above your knees. Walk your hands forward. Lower your chest down. Coming into puppy pose. A nice shoulder opener here. You can rest your forehead or your chin to the mat. Think about separating the shoulder blades, finding space, relaxing your breath. Take two more breaths in your puppy pose. And then go ahead and come up to that tabletop. Going back to our left side, extend the left leg. This time we're gonna reach the right arm forward with that point up. As you inhale, find some length. As you exhale, round knee to elbow. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. 
One more time, inhale. And exhale. Extend. Set your right hand down. Bend that left knee. Tuck your right toes. Good. Inhale, reach that left leg up. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Press the right heel down. Square the shoulders. Find your breath. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to face, round in. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your runner's lunge. Right hand under right shoulder, reach your left arm up. Good, lower the left hand down. Inhale, come up to crescent lunge. As you exhale, lower the knee, cactus hand. Inhale, do two more. Exhale. One more time. Good. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come into that twist. Staying in your twist, take this left hand to the right thigh. Reach up and stretch it back. Good. Inhale, reach up, press in. Exhale, release the hand, step your right foot forward. Lower the hips. Inhale, sweep your arms up, chair. Exhale, come up to stand. Inhale, sink the hips, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, and fold. Set your hands, step or jump, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower half foot. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Same on that left side. Lift the left leg up. Exhale, shift to your high plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, high plank. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, high plank and fold here. Good, set that left foot down. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Walk it out. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Now bring your right foot in at 45 degrees. We're going to inhale up to warrior one. Draw the right hip forward. Sink into that front leg. Reach up with those arms. Take an inhale. And then exhale, you're going to come into a twist. Right arm comes forward. So just a little different with that right foot at 45 degrees. Good. Inhale. Exhale again. Twist. One more time, inhale, <clears throat> exhale, stay here. Left hand comes to your lower back, straighten your front leg. Good, now reach the right hand forward. And then you're gonna bring the right hand down to your mat under the right shoulder. You can use a block if you need. So to open up to that left side. Hips stay square. Extend the left arm up if you want. You can also keep it down at the hip. Good, release the left hand down. So both hands are framing that left foot. Take an inhale, head up. Exhale, fold over that left leg. A nice stretch for that left hamstring. Keep drawing the left hip back. Good, you're gonna bend it into that front knee. Inhale, come up to crescent line. Or I'm sorry, to warrior one. And then on your exhale, you're gonna come to warrior two. I'll switch views here. Warrior two. One time, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Left hand reverse. 
Cartwheel the arms down. Step your left foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower, halfway. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale to your down dog. Walk it out. And go ahead and lower the knees down. Let's go ahead and extend the right leg back. Reach your left arm forward. Inhale, lengthen and length. Exhale, round, knee to elbow. But inhale. Exhale. Two more with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Extend. Bring the left hand down. You're going to bend your right knee. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, kick the right leg all the way up. Stack your hips, bend your knee. Left heel is pressing down. Go ahead, inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, knee to face. Inhale, kick. Exhale to your runner's lunge. Inhale, come up to crescent lunge. Exhale, lower the knee, cactus the arms. Good, inhale up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale and lower. Extend the arms. As you exhale, come into your twist. Left arm is forward. Place your right knee to the back of that left thigh. Reach the left arm up. Stretch it back. Good. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, release the hand. Step your left foot forward. Lower the hips. Inhale, chair. Inhale, lower the hips, chair. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, fold, set your hands, step or jump, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower about halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Let's lift the right leg up, hips stay square. Exhale, come to your high plank. Good. Inhale, lift. Nice job. Exhale, high plank. One more time, lift. High plank. Place the right foot down. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Right side, lift that right leg up. Exhale, knee to face. Inhale, kick. Runner's lunge. You're going to step your left foot in at 45 degrees. And then inhale up to warrior one. So that back foot is anchored to the mat. So if you inhale, reach. As you exhale, twist. Left arm up. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. One more time. Exhale and twist. Bring your right hand to your lower back. Straighten the front leg. Reach the left hand forward. Land the left hand down to the mat or to a block. Start to open up to that right side. Option to reach the right arm up. Keep drawing that right hip back. Release the right hand. Inhale, lift the head up, flat back. And as you exhale, fold over that right leg, drawing the right hip back. Getting a nice stretch through that right hamstring. You're gonna bend into that front knee. Inhale, come up to warrior one. Exhale, open up to your warrior two. One time, straighten that front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. 
Good, right hand to reverse. Cartwheel hands down. Step your right foot back, high plank. Set your knees down. And come into your puppy pose again. Walk the hands forward. Lower the chest down. Separate the shoulder blades. Maybe finding a little more space. Taking three more breaths in your puppy pose. Walk your hands in. So in tabletop, extend your left leg back. Now you're gonna bring your left leg to your right as far as you can. Place that foot down to the floor and then bump your hips to your left as you look to your right. And you can bend into that right elbow. You can lower down if that feels good. Stretching into that side body, if it feels good, maybe a little shift forward and back. Good, and then go ahead and come back to center, extending your left leg. Reach that left arm forward. Open up to your left side, so coming into modified side plank. Bring the left foot all the way down. Stretch your left arm over your left ear. Press into the right hand to get a stretch through that left side body. Scoop your tailbone in and relax your shoulders. Come back to that modified side plank. Left arm up, left leg lifts. You're gonna bend that left knee. Grab the inside of your foot and either pull the heel towards your hip or kick your foot into your hand, kicking behind you, drawing the heart forward. The heart opening, back bend. Go ahead, we'll release the left hand, we'll release the left knee. Now you're going to extend the right leg behind you. Bring the leg to your left as far as you can. Place the foot down and then bump your hips to your right. And maybe find a little movement if that feels good. And we'll come back to center with that back leg, that right leg extended. Extend your right arm forward. Open up toward the right side, modified side plank. Bring that right foot down. Stretch the right arm over the right ear. Big side body stretch. Scoop your tailbone in. Good, release that right arm up. Lift that right leg. Go ahead and bend your right knee. Grab the inside of the foot. Your thumb points up. And either pull the heel towards your hip or kick your foot into your hand, kicking behind you. Release the right hand, release the right knee. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and come into your downward dog. Walk it out. From here, go ahead and walk your hands toward your feet, bending your knees, come into a forward fold, and make sure your feet are about hip width apart. Move this down a little bit. 
Head is down. You're gonna lift up those right toes. Slide your right hand under your right foot. So you want the toes to the crease of your wrist. Same thing on the left side. Head is down. Now shift your weight forward toward the balls of the feet. And then maybe start to work those legs toward straight. If you need more, you can bend the elbows out to the sides. Shoulder blades pulling down the back. Breathing into that spine, into that neck. Release the hands. Walk your hands forward, coming back to your downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. I'll switch sides here. You're gonna bring the left foot forward, come to that runner's mount. Lower to your right knee. Inhale, draw the hips forward. As you exhale, draw the hips back, stretch into your left leg and lift your toes. Lower the chest. Move your toes over to your left and maybe lower down just a little bit more, getting into the hamstring on that left side. And bring your toes to center. Let's bend into the front knee. Bring this left foot over to the right side of the mat. And then lower the knee down, sliding the right leg back, coming into your half pigeon. Face you guys onward here. So think about this right hip. Look over your left shoulder to feel that right hip sinking down. And then come back to center. You can stay up on the hands or maybe start to lower down. And if you don't like this version of half pigeon, you can always come onto your back in a figure four stretch to get a stretch through that left hip. So now we're just kind of settling in, slowing down. Finding our breath. Notice where you're holding on to tension. And just try to let that go. Take three more breaths here. Come up onto your hands. You're gonna tuck your back toes. Lift that back knee and then start to lift your hips. Stepping the left foot back, coming to your downward dog, just walk it out. From here, we'll go to the right side. Go ahead and step the right foot forward. Lower that left knee down. As you inhale, draw the hips forward. And as you exhale, draw the hips back. Lifting the right toes, relax your shoulders. Take your toes over to your right side. And maybe lower down to see how you're feeling through that right side. Shoulders relax. Bring your toes to center. We're going to bend into that front knee. Move this left foot over, or sorry, this right foot to the left side of your mat. Lowering the knee down. Slide the left leg back. Come up onto your hands. Now thinking about this left hip. Look past your right shoulder, feeling that left hip sink down.
And then come back to center. You can stay up on the hands or start to come down onto your elbows if that feels good. Use your blocks if you need to. I'll face you guys again. Softening. Just breathing. And take three more breaths. Come back up onto your hands. You're going to tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and step it back to your very last down dog. Just walk it out. Lower the knees down. And now go ahead and come onto your back. So maybe lowering down to that left elbow. Turn around to come onto the back. All the way down. Take a full body stretch if you inhale. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest. And then just rock side to side. Let's start to close the eyes. Coming toward the end of our practice here. Checking in. Removing any distractions still. Go ahead and take the arms out wide. And drop your knees over to your left. Pressing that right shoulder down. And maybe turning your head to your right. On an inhale, slowly bring your knees to center, head to center. And then let's drop the knees over to your right. Left shoulder is pressing down. Breathing. And go ahead and inhale the knees to center. Set your feet to the mat. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. And let your knees come wide. Place one hand near your heart, one hand near your belly. Feeling that breath, that space and expansion. Release the arms, extend your legs, and just allow yourself to be supported here. In your final shavasana, you do create your own reality. No one else does. And you create your own reality, even if you do not understand that you do. For that reason, you often create by default. When you are consciously aware of your own thoughts, you are deliberately offering them. 
then you are the deliberate creator of your own reality. And that is what you intended when you made the decision to come forth into this body. Please stay in your Shavasana as long as you need to. Thank you for joining our community here. Thank you for adapting to the changes that we have to make right now. I hope that you enjoyed this class, this time for yourself. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you.